So, how do the last three generations of the Galaxy watches compare the 6, 5 and 4? So, if you actually go to some online reviews and watch some uh, videos from the big channels, they will try to uh, convince you that these are completely different watches and there are so much huge improvements over the, uh, from the 4 to the 5 and fr from the 5 to the 6. But to be honest, that's complete crap. They are the same watch. The Galaxy Watch 4 and the 5 are pretty much identical. Uh, the the 5 has got a better sapphire glass, however the 4 still is a very good screen. So between those two models, that's the only difference. By the way, this is the Galaxy Watch 4, a 44mm, this is the Galaxy Watch 4, sorry, 5, 40mm, and I also have used the Galaxy Watch 6, which I unfortunately do not have in this video, so sorry about that. But I returned that watch because it's, there's even less of difference between the Galaxy Watch 5 and 6. It's completely ridiculous. They're exactly the same watch. So let's explore. And also this is not even a bad thing because, uh, the, because you get a very good support and updates on the Galaxy Watch 4 and 5. So you can use them for a very long time and they won't like uh, drop out of any uh, software support and you will still be able to use them for a long time and I actually applaud Samsung for keeping and updating these watches so all these watches 4, 5 and 6 have the same Wear OS system and they look exactly the same and all the functions on them all are the same so uh, on the Galaxy Watch 5 you also, you, I mean they are exactly the same so when you check check them out all the systems, all the apps they are exactly the same. On the Galaxy Watch 6, uh, for some uh, system menus, they have changed the uh, animations a bit. Like when you, for example, go through these uh, animations, the screens, they have just like changed the look of icons a bit, but the functionality is identical. And from my experience, all the sensors are the same. The heart rate tracking, GPS, all the stress measurement and stuff like that, they're identical in performance between these three models. So don't believe the people who say they are a completely different watch and you should upgrade every year. It's not the case. The 4, 5 and 6 are completely <laughs> identical watch in uh, all uh, practical aspects. So let's check the 6 and let's check, actually, uh, sorry, let's check the 4. And uh, let's see just how great features it has. So it has all the accessories tracking, all the, uh, all the basically health, health tracking, all your stress tracking, your sleep tracking, uh, yeah, sleep. Also, you can measure your like body composition here as well with this watch. And this is the same stuff on the 6. There's literally no other uh, new features on the 6 that you don't, that you get on the 4. So uh, you will even get blood pressure measurement on the 4 as well. You get all, the, all that on the 5 and 6 as well. You don't really get any new features on the 6. So ECG also on this old 4. And by the way, I picked up this uh, Galaxy Watch 4 recently for only 20 euros, which is the same 20 dollars. So really they have become incredibly cheap and you get a lot of watch for your price. Okay, let's talk about the actual difference in these watches. So between the 4 and 5, as uh, they have the same CPU, the same amount of RAM, everything, same features, same same everything, literally. They look the same watch, even the straps are identical. And the design also is identical. So actually, the, again, this 4 is a bigger watch model I have have. So, but you get the same size, they are identical watches in every look. So when you have them on the wrist, you can't tell apart. And it's the same for 6. The 4 looks identical to the 6 as well. Uh, unless you go into the settings and actually check which model it is, you can't tell really which model it is just by looking at the front of it. Um, on the back, however, uh, the 6 has got different release mechanism for the straps and they are actually worse than the 4 and 5. The 4 and 5 has better straps. 
So, I mean the strap release. The straps are the same on the 6 as well, just the release mechanism on the 6 is more terrible. I don't know why. So, it's a downgrade. Um, then, on the, uh, you get different uh, screens. I mean the screen protection on the 4 and 5. And I have worn my Galaxy Watch 5 for around a year now. As you can see, it's still, the screen at least looks brand new without any scratches at all. So that's really the main difference between them, the screen protection, because this has get, got that sapphire glass. This one has got the regular glass, however, if you check, still, uh, I paid again $20 only for this watch, and you can see it has been worn for quite some time. But as you can see, the screen still looks pretty much perfect. It has very, very tiny mark here. But again, I can see this is uh, this watch has been used for a lot of time. So actually, yeah, I'm actually quite surprised just how good the screen still is on this watch. So again, uh, yeah, I saw that the sapphire glass is so nice. But once I got this Galaxy Watch 4, I realized it might be have been just a gimmick because the screen on the Galaxy Watch 4 is still very good. Then the main difference between the 5 and 6 really is the increased battery life. But in the reviews they try to convince you that it's so much different and so much better. But from my testing when I had the Galaxy Watch 6 it was like marginal difference, very, very marginal difference. By the way, uh, know that the Samsung actually updated Wear OS to the latest one on all of these watches, the 4, 5 and 6. The battery life on the 4 and 5 increased dramatically, basically. And I think uh, on the 5 and 4, actually the battery life compared to when these watches were released, they almost increased twice. So yeah, you still get extremely good battery life on the 4 and 5 now uh, uh, due to them upgrading the various systems. Obviously, I'm not saying it's uh, it's a great battery life watches because they are all of them are absolutely terrible and you will have to wear uh, I mean charge them like every single day. Even the 6 one if you actually use the always on display, you're going to have to charge that watch almost every single day unless you get those uh, pro versions, uh, like the big big ones, maybe you can last two days on that. But the really the battery life is very very marginal, and yeah, those reviewers are just telling uh, absolute crap to you to get you to purchase this watch and earn commissions for them. Uh, so what about the sensors such as heart rate and GPS? So the heart rate from my testing, I have tested all three of them and it's identical. And uh, I mean, it's uh, it's terrible compared to other watches such as Garmin and Fitbit. They all suck compared to uh, those watches. But uh, when you compare to the 5, 6 and 4, they're the same. Same for GPS tracking and uh, for reliability, they're the same. The GPS actually is quite good on these watches. Just the heart rate. I do hope they increase the heart rate in this new 7. So because on the 4, 5 and 6, the heart rate tracking sucks really. The step counter accuracy, however, is absolutely great on the 4, 5 and 6 and it's identical. And uh, the Galaxy Watch are actually the best uh, smart watches out there when you compare to all in the step counting accuracy. So I haven't worn these uh, for the same amount of time today, so it shows different, but I, when tested, they're the same and the best in the class. They completely beat Apple, Garmin and Fitbit the Samsung watch in the step counter accuracy and by a large margin these are super accurate. Also there is another good increase on the 6 uh, so for example when you are sleeping uh, you actually don't need to use your green light to measure your heart rate and that's uh, actually good improvement over the 6 which I actually don't get don't see any people talking about because the lights the green lights the heart rate sensor green lights actually quite disturb you as a night on the 6 I have managed to get uh, disable that green light at night and still uh, get quite good measurements. So actually that's uh, even a better upgrade at least for me than the increased battery life compared to the 5 and 4. So if you currently have a Galaxy Watch 4, should you upgrade to the 5 or 6? I would say absolutely no. They're uh, again the same watch sold to you as a brand new watch. But they're the same watch really in all the functionality and the features and the design and pretty much everything. 
So again, if you go check those online reviews from the big uh, channels or even go to the Reddit, they will tell you that these are completely different watches and yeah, you should upgrade. But so they will point out that the, maybe the microphone location is different. So you can see it's at the middle here and on the four it's uh, like like here a bit placed down. <laughs> so. Uh, I mean, are you kidding me? Well, that's uh, that's an upgrade. That for that reason you should, uh, I mean, uh, upgrade to a new watch. What the hell? Don't listen to those people. Use your common sense. These are the same watches, really. And yeah, if you want a great watch and it's very inexpensively, you can get the Galaxy Watch 4 for sure. It's a great watch, as it, and it has hold up very well. And Samsung has actually done a very good job supporting it. And yeah pushing all the, all the upgrades to the latest ones. So yeah, I'm actually waiting for the Galaxy Watch 7 uh, quite uh, eagerly, because I do hope they will finally bring something new and bring us a new watch, because again, as I say, have said already 100 times, same watch. Uh, so yeah, if this was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. See you!